did you know that pineapples are a bromeliad? Here we have Tom McCubbin, who is a former Extension agent, to tell us more. Hi, Tom. Thank you for Hi, being VG. here. Hi, Well, thank you for having me. And I brought my, some of my favorite plants. It's not my wife's favorite plants, but it's my favorite plant, okay? So tell <laughs> us why you're interested in bromeliads. You know, I just like the color that you get. If you have one like this one here, which is a Nerogelia, and you can see all the color develop in the center. And the flower is way down inside on this one here. And another one in front of you that has lots of color is this one here, which is a Varesia. And that was called Painted Feather. Don't you like it when it comes up like that? It's so pretty and colorful. Yeah. And the other thing I like about them is this color will last for a long period of time. Like the inflorescence in that Varesia, that Painted Feather you have there, there's a little flower that comes out, but also you have that other colorful portion, it's just gonna be there for a long time. Now some of them, uh, this one here is the Blushing Tiger, and it just uh, has nice color in the foliage. It will get a flower, but sometimes the foliage is just interesting. And a lot, one that a lot of people buy at the store has the flowers like this, it's mm -hmm. a Gizmania. Not one of my favorites, but it's one of the popular ones at the store because right. of the color. And the last one I brought here with me today is a Cryptanthus, also called an Earth Star. Do you like that one? It is very pretty. You told me it was pointy though, so I won't touch it too much. I don't want to prick yeah, myself. Yeah, <laughs> that's what my wife doesn't like about them. I she'll, she'll grow her orchids and says, you can have your bromeliads out there. That's what these gloves are for. Okay, so, so, so how do you care for these plants? You know, they're very carefree. The main thing Thing is you just need to put a little moisture on them from time to okay. time and, and you might notice down in the center here you have a cup and this is with the Neurogelias and, and you just keep that full of water but it's also important that water gets down into the container because some of them do not have those cups like the little Varesia doesn't have much of a, a cup at all so you just go ahead and water them and then a little bit of fertilizer periodically and okay. they'll do well for you. And you mentioned that we could transplant them as well. How do yes. you do that? Yes, okay. This one here is ready to be transplanted in front of me, this little Nerogelia here. And this one here, by the way, is called Orange Crush. Every one has, its, has a name. They have unique names, you were mentioning them. They have unique names, yeah. <laughs> I like the uh, uh, Blushing Tiger. Right. Now, the interesting thing about the bromeliad is once this plant portion flowers, it's going to die. Okay. okay, so what you're hoping is you're going to get some offshoots, and that's what we have here. I'm going to turn it around, and you can just take the shears like I have here and go in and just cut it loose. Oh, wow. Like I'm doing there. Pull it loose, and that is ready to pot up. And you have a container over there I that do. I can use. And I'll just put some soil, put it right down here. And then we'll put some soil in there. There we go. That's pretty easy that you could just clip it off. Yeah. Sometimes you can break them off. Huh. Sometimes like that. So it's just a regular potting soil. And you'll take the plant, push it down inside, water it, wow. and away it grows. And now tell me about sunlight. How much sunlight do these plants want? Okay. It's pretty important. Now you mentioned with the, uh, uh, the uh, pineapple, that wants full sun. The rest of these here want filter sun or shade Perfect. to do well. Yeah. Perfect. So you can keep this kind of in a shady area. Can you keep them indoors? You can keep them indoors also as long as you have nice bright light. But in a, in a yard, all these here have been growing out in filtered sun. They get some morning sun, but if they get too much sun during the day, the leaves will start to burn back. Now there's a few that can take full sun. Uh, the pineapple is one of those. There's a couple others, but most of them uh, want that filtered sun. Well, imagine that. Who would have known about pineapples and all these other uh, family members that it has. Yeah. So Tom, thank you so much for being here today and, and teaching us about these bromeliads. They're beautiful and now we even know how to take care of them. Yeah, thank you Vijay. It's one yeah. of my favorite plants. Yes, I can see why. So now you know you can take care of your very own bromeliads at home. They're pretty simple and easy to take care of. Thanks again, Tom.